live a life of intention that's in line with your values would be huge. Um, that'd probably be about it. Enjoy your life. Live your truth. Right. Whatever that is. Right. And I, that's peace. And now, and the flip side is human nature and also, I think, being con conditioned in America. I think of advertisements, commercials, what we see. I have to be humanly honest and, and open that I struggle. I have those peaceful, happy moments, and it has nothing to do with buying a pair of shoes or, or anything like that. It could just be in the house reading a book, an array of sunshine. This is going to sound kooky, but seriously, those little brief moments, and then mm. they're gone. A ray of sunshine comes through the the plantation shutter and it hits the corner of a book and you just sit for a moment and you're like I am just so okay in this moment I'm okay and then it may be gone because the kids run through and someone's hitting each other or something like that but I, I have to admit as a human being then you have those moments and you see what you think you're supposed to have or what you're supposed to achieve mm -hmm. per standards that have been set in our nation you know oh I was supposed to do more I was supposed to further this education I'm not I'm not supposed to be doing this, or I, I, I'm supposed to be trying to get more and more and more. But I, I can get outside of myself later and go stop that. Right. Most of it was just nearly impossible, or n probably impossible. Right. Well, yeah. success is not going to really bring you any permanent happiness. Right. I mean, typically, you're, you know, you accomplish a goal, and then what? It's what's next. Where's my next mountain? Right. Because that's a very fleeting. And again, depending on what, how you define yeah, success, just, uh, which takes us back to what she was asking us. Peace. I would have to just say that. Peace. Which would encompass joy. As for fleeting peace. as it may be. As fleeting as it may be, right. you have to you accept and enjoy, right, right, that you had it. And when I say not peace, I mean with young kids, all of us, and all of us have had and have kids, it's hard to find peace sometimes. Right. You know, and, and peace involves letting go of worry. Worrying, have I done a good job with that child? Is that child going to be okay? It's letting go attachment. Letting go that I you know, own and, and you are responsible for a child, but there's there's a emotional place you have to get to. Yeah, and I, I mean, struggle with that. I, I, I am a, that. I'm not really a worrier, but when I have kids, I am a worrier. I worry about everything since they were little. Well, and the answer to that. What is the answer to that? It's mindfulness. It's take a big inhale, come right to the present moment. Life is lived in the here and now. This is the only moment we have. I know, but something's going to happen any second. But it hasn't yet. So what are you going to do? I know, but... Oh, let go. Just, enjoy it. Allow yourself to enjoy I wanna it. I want to do that, but it just feels like it's around the corner. Yeah. feels yeah. like it's wrong to let go sometimes. Well, 